Mitochondria are tiny self-contained structures consisting of an outer membrane and an inner membrane and an internal matrix surrounded by lots of tiny infoldings or cristi. The mitochondrion is often described as the powerhouse of the cell. Food that you eat consists of basic food groups like carbohydrates, proteins and fat. And while these are all well and good, they aren't much use on a cellular level because the molecules are much too complex. Within the digestive tract, the body breaks these groups down into smaller building blocks, which are then absorbed and transported to cells where they can be used. Mitochondria specifically use the building block glucose, combine it with oxygen and turn it into something far more useful. Think of the mitochondria as tiny factories, factories that take in these small building blocks and churn out large amounts of a molecule called ATP, or adenosine triphosphate. This molecule consists of several components including adenine, ribose and three phosphate groups, joined together by high energy bonds. And this is very important as it means that ATP can be used as the energy currency of the body. It powers cellular reactions that require energy, reactions like muscle contraction and active transport across cell membranes. During these reactions, one of the bonds between phosphate groups on ATP breaks, creating ADP, or adenosine diphosphate, which only has two phosphate groups. And this releases the energy contained within the bond. ADP can then be converted back to ATP for further use. All of this is made possible by the ATP factories, the powerhouses of the cell, the mitochondria.